graciously. Firstly, I'm not endorsing any political party which I am a spokesperson of, the youngest of course. Views are totally personal and of course candid too because I've uh, come from the same platform of the student community. Democracy for me, a simple derivation is your freedom ends where my nose begins. I hope you understand, I repeat, your freedom ends where my nose begins. Well, the beauty of democracy is when I am in a classroom, the relationship is of a student and a professor. And when I am on a street or any political platform, we become political colleagues. So democracy is of use whatever you are representing, whatever your ideology is, whatever your thought process is. But the platform, the foundation should have a principal idealistic way. Let it be right or left or extreme center. But it has to have a plan of foundation which has views and ideas, whoever you are representing. And of course it is people, because at the end of the day we see that the land of laws exists for people or probably to restrict some people too. But then this relation between media and democracy is definitely an interesting one in the present scenario which we see. Because our separation of powers, the existence of India, or I should say the modern India, or the constitutional India, after getting the constitution, we have seen that legislature comes first, executive, I, I suppose all of you are not, are you uh, mass communication students? No. So, so then probably I should elaborate this. First we have legislature, which is the decision making, the supreme decision making, let it be the parliament or the legislature, that is the assembly. Executive is administration, that is the bureaucrats. And then third comes the judiciary, the court of law. But here the interesting thing comes is the fourth estate, which has been questionable of the recent times, that is the media that takes the rule of the rules today, which gives the supreme power that it is the decision maker today. That which political party has to be in power, or which political party should be in opposition, is the present day scenario. Which brings to the point that is media the fourth estate today, or has media risen up? be the first estate today. Because most of us, most of us see that more than judiciary or more than bureaucracy, it has become important that nation decides what is happening tonight at 9 p.m. Tonight 9 p.m. any decision can happen and that can get into the heads of people that you know that is this true or is this the fact. Threat or no threat, positive or negative, I am leaving it up to you. That what am I talking today? Am I talking positive? Am I talking negative? Or am I talking the reality? Of the present scenario, the relationship, the hand and glove combination of media, political parties, legislature, or even court being aside. I, I would like to quote some illustrations also because we know, we are seeing newspapers, we are seeing the high dramas of politics, which even I represent, which even I take the bashings of every day. In fact, I, I drove up here from a television studio today, directly. So, we know that even movies and the best of the television soaps also have fallen behind with politics becoming the biggest TRP ratings today. Particularly Tamil Nadu is the latest example for us. We see that if, if you are talking about court, if you are talking about legislature or if you are talking about judiciary, we know that one case is going on and it is very important that when the matter is subsidized, we cannot discuss about it. When it is in the court of law and we cannot influence the court that this has to be the decision. But 
as democracy involves, we come up with the populist demand because many, many cases of late, we have seen in this five years, the trend has changed with the evolution of social media particularly and the Twitters and hashtags and trendings. We have seen that people come up to decision and unfortunately we tend to make the media and at the same time the court also to follow it. Particularly when it has come to the Delhi rape incident, we have seen that many people, many youngsters, youth and which even forced political parties also to back it, we have seen that people wanted immediate judgment. People wanted death penalty. Civil rights were questioned. Because there is an age old debate that should death penalty continue or not? And if yes, what should be the parameters of that case? That is an example. The one more recent example is the court has given a verdict that animal rights is an issue. But people's demand is also an issue today. Democracy is also an issue. Media was backing it. And they brought tradition and culture. Yes, India, India's foundations have been tradition and culture. But India's principles says constitution first. India's Bible is constitution. So, what is the trend saying? That yes, there is a question in all minds that what is supreme exactly? Is constitution supreme? Is media supreme? Or is Jalika to Supreme Court? So, today anything can be changed, anything can be questionable. That, that is the power. I mean, media has made leaders and media has brought down leaders too. Definitely Telangana agitation was backed by media. Jalika to was backed by media. And then we have seen that recently United Andhra Pradesh also, which is special status also is a very important demand and a, mod, a module of Jellicottu wanted to be attempted at Vishakhapatnam beach also and then celebrities enter inside for people's demand for some demands they come for some demands they don't come that is very choosy of course so how important a television how important the thumbs today for WhatsApps or Twitters or Facebooks have happened. In fact, Rachana Redigar also, she is going to come because recently she was also trolled. These very important questions, I mean, what are the limitations of social media? Definitely, we question censorship, the effects of censorship because social policing is not right. But who is going to confine ourselves? I remember I was also told once because during Telangana agitation my views were different. But post Telangana agitation I had to because I cannot be a student forever. Age grows, mindset grows, ambitions and aspirations also grow. So from democracy we would want to be into be the, the participation of democracy we would want to be into the decision making of democracy. So definitely Whatever our ideology, as I said, our thought process suits, we tend to choose that political party. And at the same time, as I said, aspirations. Would we want to limit ourselves to a constituency or a district or a state or national? Through that, we tend to take our views. And then what happens is, when we end up into that same party, people would say that, see, they, they, I, I, it was nice. I mean, I appreciated that art one one friend, I mean, I don't know who he was on social media, they made a lovely paint of my face with a chameleon. But yes, I said, yes, I did it. Because then, the state was important. Today, it is important that who rules the state? And at the same time, whom are you ending up to? I'm sorry, I apologize.
basically two important effects are there on mindsets related to media and democracy. One is each one is impulsive and counter reactionary. That there is no constructive process, that we don't want to create our own parts, that there is an action and there is a reaction. There is a chief minister who comments on a lady and then immediately you see the entire bandwagon and the cronies of the party attack that lady on social media. So at the same time, each one is judgmental also. Everyone is in a hurry that we want to judge that what is the solution. You be a part of it. Yes, democracy has an important word that is participatory. We want you to participate. When you vote, we want to understand that what is your thought, what have you understood in our manifestos, what are we promising and what is possible, what is not hallucination and what is not a Pandora box which we open. When we open that Pandora box, after five years, we show a report card that has it happened or not. How many of us are questioning that every year after a budget, that has this budget really happened last year? One lakh crores, two lakh crores, national budgets and state budgets. I am talking to you as a democracy and at the same time as a media that have we looked behind and taken a follow up that has this happened? You have promised this in your election and have you done this? So, we tend to become judgmental that yes, this has happened, you know, you are true, you are false. We immediately decide that who is a fake who is a Papu or etc. We keep those tag names, but we do not go into the deep thought process of it that what exactly is this mindset. So it is very important that once again we think that is media the fourth estate today? And the most important negative effects of it also is today that when name calling and brand value, when you when you are seeing only you know politics is about a system, uh, entire party, entire decision making, a procedure. It is not about one man. Let it be this state, the neighboring state, or even the whole country. Entire whole country also doesn't end up with one person. That is a threat for both media and for democracy. Because when there is an urge in a politician that yes, my face has to be shown in the newspaper or in the electronic channel, then I'm trying to corrupt them. So it is entire cycle which ends up to corruption. So this hand in glove is important for the system, media and democracy, but entire thing comes with a thin-like package and that is called constitution. Thank you. Thank you.